Hey, welcome back students. In this lesson, we're going to focus on translating a chemical reaction into a word equation. Now, you're already familiar with how to go ahead and write equations. You can predict them, you can balance them. But one of the things that we really need to be able to do is to translate that into something that's written, like a small paragraph, and then also go the other way around, take a small paragraph and turn that into a chemical reaction using symbols, coefficients, and subscripts. And so for this lesson, we're going to focus strictly taking a chemical formula that's given to us and translating that into a word equation. So let me go ahead and write one up here, and then we'll begin translating. So here we have this equation. And what we're going to do is just go ahead and translate this. Okay. Now, what are some of the skills that you're going to need? You are going to need to know how to read a chemical uh, name. So you need to be able to come up with a chemical name for each of these compounds. And so that's essential skill in order to complete these types of problems that involve translating from reaction into an, a word equation. So we'll begin with what we know, and so we'll just write this out. So keep in mind that these numbers here, the 4, the 5, the 4 here on the right side, and the 6, all of these numbers represent coefficients, but they're also the same thing as what we call a mole number. Okay, That's what each of these things is. And so you got to make sure that you understand that when we write this, we got to make sure that we identify it as a mole number because that's really what it is. And so let's go ahead and do this down below. And so we're going to begin doing, and we're going to write 4 moles. And this is the 4 moles identified here by the 4. So 4 moles of the compound that we've got there. And this next compound here has a name. It's called ammonia. Don't confuse that with ammonium, which is NH4, but this one's NH3, so it's ammonia. The positive sign here that we encounter on the left-hand side, we're going to include this as a, uh, I know that you want to say plus, stuff like that, like you do in math, but rather what's happening on the left side of the equation is that something is reacting, so there's action taking place. And so we typically want to use something like reacts with, you could also use things like is mixed with, added to, but typically we want to use reacts with. And then we'll go on to the next compound, which is this item here, and we have five moles of that. And it's of, and this is oxygen. But notice that it has the two, so it's a diatomic, so this is going to be oxygen gas. Now we move on to the arrow. And this particular arrow is uh, going to be used to refer, refer to produced, yields, makes. And so we're going to use a simple one here uh, to produce. And then we'll go off over to the right side of the equation. So we've got a 4, and we'll begin with that one. So we've got 4 moles of this compound NO, which is nitri nitrous oxide, or nitrogen monoxide. Go ahead and rewrite that again there. Okay, so four moles of nitrogen monoxide, and then we'll finish up with the next plus sign, which is just translated strictly as and, and then the last compound there, which is water, and we have six moles of water and we see that here at the very end with the six and so we'll say four moles of nitrogen monoxide and six moles of water and so you can see that each of the various parts here are identified I'll just go ahead and identify here by underlining them here's the four moles which is the first coefficient by the NH3 the NH3 is ammonia it reacts this is the plus sign with five moles of oxygen, so five moles is the coefficient for the oxygen there, which is O2 gas, and that produces, which is the arrow, four moles, which is the coefficient on the NO, and NO is identified by nitrogen monoxide. The AND is the positive uh, here at the very end on the right hand side, and the six moles, six being the coefficient for water, and water identified with the word water. So this is the way you go ahead and translate a chemical reaction into a word equation. Okay? And so in the next video, we're going to show how we're going to take a word equation and we're going to convert that into an actual chemical formula using coefficients, symbols, and subscripts.